Hey, what's up my Uplifting Life Partners? This is Ron Simplified Myers. For those of you the first time getting to hear me speak, first let me say welcome. Thank you for the support. I'm the author of the book, The Relationship Success Handbook, Get Rid of Your Problems, Not Your Partner. Now, what I wanted to do is I wanted to create a quick series. I shouldn't say quick, because um, I'm not sure how many I'll do. But it's gonna be on COVID-19, the coronavirus, uh, how it relates to life and relationships. And a lot of it is actually going to validate a lot of the stuff that I teach. Because um, those that have heard me speak know a lot of things that I share goes against traditional teaching. Because I believe a lot of the things that have been shared in the past, especially on relationships, is bad information, which is why people are having relationship issues because they're getting taught the same old techniques, the old teachings from the past, which never worked and still will not work today. So... I'm, the topic I'm going to talk about today is fear and nice guys finish last and stay with me through this video and you'll see how all that comes together and why in terms of why those two work together fear and nice guys finish last and then also how that uh, lines up with what's going on with this COVID-19 coronavirus. What I like to talk about when it comes to fear is I tell people fear is never the reason people do or don't do things. Now, that's something, again, this is where I go against tradition because it's what people tell us all the time is fear is the reason why people do or don't do things. And I said fear is never the answer. It's never the reason. Fear is just a description, which is a generic description, to describe a person's emotions and then they respond in a certain way. But we have to back up and say, well, where did those emotions come from that we called fear? Um, they actually come from stories that you've created. As I always share and teach, you have stories that turn, that start emotions, and then based on these emotions, will create the actions that you take. But we go to the tail end and call it fear, and it's like, no, you get to back up and see because when someone tells you overcome your fear, you're lost. It's like, well, what do I do? Because fear is not the problem. You have to back up and see what story did you write that took you to the state of what people call fear. The challenge is the story that you wrote. You guys follow me? Um, I'd like to use an analogy, and this one is, is a personal, and it has to do with the word cancer. I tell people no one ever dies from cancer. Cancer is just a generic word that we use to describe illness. And that's why people say cancer is so widespread and it's so, yes, because it's a generic term that's used to describe when a person passes away, but it's never, it's not telling you what caused the death. Uh, perfect example, um, on Terry, my wife, those of you who don't know my story, um, she passed away almost six years ago now. Um, on her death certificate, it says cancer. The reality, Terry died because her body was no longer producing white blood cells. And as you know, white blood cells is what fights off disease. Now, how her body got to that point, that is the problem. Not cancer, that is the problem. Um, her, we have our own beliefs on why that occurred, and a lot of it has to do with what's going on right now with COVID-19 and radiation. And I'm not going to get into that here. That's a whole nother conversation, whole nother topic. But... The, we believe that that's how she got ill to begin with because she started off as an x-ray tech. And we believe because what they call cancer, again, um, it's a rare cancer that she had and nobody in her family has it. And it's like, where did it come from? And we believe it came from the radiation of her being an x-ray tech. But anyway, so the real challenge, because we asked her doctors that, we were like, do you know why she has this big mass by her heart? And they're like, no. And then we both told the doctor, then you can't help her. There's nothing you can do to help her if you don't know the cause. And see, I almost got into the conversation, but bottom line is that's the real issue. If she had a mask, how did the mask get there? It's not cancer. It's what is what in her body is not functioning correctly in order for her body to take care of itself. That's the real issue. That's what has to be addressed. So fear, kind of what we're talking about here, is the same thing. What is creating that challenge? And how does this relate to COVID-19 and the coronavirus? Well, I got to experience 
uh, for a couple of days there, folks, I, I had a hard time getting out of bed. And those that know me know that I am very optimistic. I always find the good in everything. That's just my personality. When everything's happened, I just keep going. Um, I have something I say to myself all day, every day, and that's whatever happens, I say everything happens for me in my best interest. Always has, always will. I always say that all day long. Even those two days I was laying in bed, I was laying in bed saying everything works in my favor. Always has, always will. Even though I couldn't get the energy and desire to go out and make things happen. And the reason for that is not for fear, which is what the world would tell me what was what was going on. Because... It's because of the stories that I was writing from all the stuff that I was getting. In other words, listen to all the media, listen to all the conspiracy theories, uh, listen to spiritual teachings, listening to my own stories that I created in there and where I thought all this was leading to. Created stories within myself that became a self prison and became an emotional drain on me. Not that these things were really happening. They were things that I created based on the stories, all the information I took, created my own stories, which as I keep telling you, stories create the emotions and then the actions follow. The stories I had created, because in my mind, this was way bigger, and I still believe that, and again, we're not going to get into that. That's not what this is all about. It's bigger than the COVID-19, the coronavirus. And so... Because of that, because of where I took myself, it took me to a place where I was able to sit back and go, I understand how people get totally depressed. I didn't really understand this. I, I've always said stories, you know, and, I, and I've just I've taught that. Stories create emotions, create actions. And so I believe that. And so, but the stories I had written had taken me to a place where I had gotten to where I was really starting to be drained. And my desires, and, 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 and again, those that have known me and know me would have been totally shocked to see where I had gone. And it's all because of the stories that I have written. And that takes me kind of to um, Nice Guys Finish Last. What got me out of the funk is I had to stop, one, listening to all the media stuff. And then I had to rewrite the stories and one of the stories I had to rewrite is this nice guys finish last mentality. Because whenever I've heard people in the past say this, and this is kind of what I've been taught in this particular environment validates my point, is whenever I hear people say nice people finish, or nice men finish last, I've always said that's one of the biggest myths we got to quit sharing. Because if that's true, then the opposite of that has to be, then you're saying not nice or bad is how you actually finish first. Now, whenever I've shared that with people, they go, no, 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 that's not what we're saying. That's exactly what you said. Because if you're saying nice finishes last, then what are you saying? You have to be saying not nice finishes first, which would be bad, evil, or whatever. And I've always said it's the biggest myth because a lot of people misinterpret a person being nice, because some of the nicest and greatest and most friendly people you'll ever meet are people I've come across that have a lot of money. See, what most people, unfortunately, when they use that comment about nice people finishing last, they're talking about people who have a very low self-esteem. See, that's a whole different conversation. A person that has a low self-esteem that is doing everything in their power to get people to like them. Therefore, they'll go for anything. That's not nice. That's a person who has a low self-esteem who is looking to be validated by others and will do whatever it takes to try to get that validation. See, folks, that's not nice. That's a person fighting a different kind of battle. Nice is just that. It's a person that's nice, kind, generous, and, and out to help others. And I've always said, money doesn't make you a certain way. It just shares a light on who you really are. In other words, a person that's a good person, nice person, caring person, will do more things to help others when they have money. People that aren't that way, you'll get to see them be bad or do bad things when they get more money. Why? Because the money wasn't the deterring factor. It's who they are. It's the way they think. And so that's kind of why I said the nice guy, because what helped me get out of the funk is I had to realize that where I was at in my thinking was I had gotten to a point where I was believing 
evil was going to be victorious. And if you're believing evil is going to be victorious, then you lose hope. And again, this is not a spiritual conversation either, So, but we all know without hope, there's a book that talks about that, without hope, man perishes. So during those couple of days, it helped me really realize how a person gets to a very depressed state of being and how people can take it to different levels to where they don't care about life and they, they think of suicide and they do. Not that I went that far, folks, I didn't. But, but what I'm saying is, but I, guess, but I got to the point where I was like, whoa. I mean, my energy was drained and I just, and I'm sharing this with you guys because I know some of you have gone through that because of this COVID-19. Some of you might still be in that place and hopefully this video will wake you up to that. To, to, to a solution to that. And so for me, I had to come to grips with the fact that just what I always say, everything works in my favor, always has, always will. And then I had to remember, good will always prevail. So for me, again, it is nice will always prevail. Nice will always win. Nice will be number one. And I had to come to that state of being in order for me to get up and for my inner spirit to, 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 to get inspired again and go, okay, let's go out here and make some things happen. And so from a spiritual perspective, if a person did do that, they would say, God, you know, Jesus, and that they will prevail and that this is all a part of whatever and that ultimately this is a cleansing and the beauty, the, the great future that we're looking for will show up. That's kind of the conversation that you have to get to that point to where you say, good will always prevail. So that's why I was saying the nice and that's why I put it as part of the first video because I believe a lot of people are at that point where they've lost hope. Maybe they're giving up. If that's you, hopefully this turning around of that thought process of realizing that good, nice, always finishes first. And if you know that, whatever we're going through, whatever the challenge is, understand this too shall pass, but we shall prevail. And that everything works in our favor, always has, always will. And I had to keep telling myself and telling that myself that the change occurred when I rewrote the story. And that's why I said stories cause emotions, which causes action. Because once I changed the stories and started to say, we're going to win in this. It's going to all work in our favor. And stop watching all the media stuff. Now, I'm not telling you for those of you who feel like you need to have some of that stuff. If you need to go in and see what's going on for the day, go watch a little bit of it. Get your, yourself up to date. Cut it out the rest of the day. Because if the more you listen to it, the more you're going to get poisoned, poisoned, and poisoned. The more you get to write stories but they're going to be bad stories. They're going to be defeating stories. And those stories will take you to the point where for a couple of days, I was gone. I was out of it. I was kind of, I've never seen Ron at that level. I, matter of fact, I know I've never been at that level. And it was kind of scary to me because I was like, man, I can see how people end up. In, in a very bad place, how people end up on the street, how people end up homeless, how people give up hope. Again, I, I, I didn't get there, fortunately, because I've been doing all this all my life and I started having the conversation. And fortunately, it took me two days to wake up. But just think about the people who don't have that background, who don't understand this teaching, don't. It made a clearing to me to understand how they get to that point because they'll it'll just keep pounding compounding and it'll go from two days to three days to a week till a month to two months or whatever to a point where all hope is gone and that's a scary place for anyone to live because when you lose hope you stop caring about anything else and anything becomes possible at that point and I'm saying even negativity things come into play so that's the reason I wanted to share in this first video. I wanted you to understand that fear, first off, is never ever the reason people do or don't do things. Fear is just a description that says there's an emotion out there 
that we're saying that you didn't do, you did or didn't do what you did, and we're using that to describe it. But the reality is, go back to the story that you wrote, and you'll see what the true issue is. And then that understanding that the nice guys finished last, that that's a bad thing that we've taught. This is a bad way to believe. And if you understand that nice actually will finish first, that's what helps you get through this crisis. That's what's helped you believe in the future. Because if you don't believe that nice finishes first, then you have to think the other way, which is nice finish last. And you have no other way but to go down, lose hope, and it's not a good place to hang out. So I hope I came across and you guys got my message very strongly there. Understand why I started here with the fear and then the nice guys finished last. Because I believe here the shift there is where a lot of people are in their lives right now. And you need to make that shift so that you can get energized and go out here and enjoy the rest of this time no matter where it may lead us. And as you guys know, it ain't right and ain't wrong. It is my opinion. If you haven't had the opportunity to check out uh, my videos, run over to ronsuchannel.com. Leave your comments. Subscribe if you've never subscribed to the site. Um, leave me certain topics you'd like for me to uh, talk on because I enjoy having these conversations. And just remember, folks, watch the stories that you're writing. Do not get caught and stuck into this social media. It will destroy you. And just understand, nice does finish first. And I'll talk to you guys in the next video. This was just lesson one. I have more to follow. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.